Alan Williams and I'm reporting from the Washington offices of Shia Rights Watch. Last week was a deadly week for Shia Muslims as roughly 208 Shia M Muslims were killed and roughly 281 were injured in 18 attacks around the world. In one of the deadliest attacks on civilians in 10 years, 120 Shia Muslims were killed and 130 were injured in a car bomb that exploded in the predominantly Shia town of Khan Bani Sa'd. Excluding this bombing, in nearly daily attacks in Shia communities in Iraq, 77 Shia civilians have been killed. In Yemen, a car bomb detonated outside of a Shia mosque in the Al Jaraf neighborhood of Sana'a killed five and wounded seven. ISIS has claimed responsibility for this attack, which would be the second attack on a Shia mosque in July. Pakistan continues to reel from targeted killings as militants gunned down two Shia doctors in a Shia neighborhood in Karachi. In Syria, al-Nusra militants fired hundreds of rockets into the, to, into the predominantly Shia towns of Fawa and Kafaria. This attack left seven dead and hundreds wounded. Lastly, in Afghanistan, the Hazara community is facing yet another kidnapping, this time in the city of Baghlan. According to SRW sources, Taliban fighters kidnapped more than 20 Hazara Shia Muslims, including women and children. For more information on this week's attacks, see our Shia, Shia Weekly News at www.shiarightswatch.org. And for monthly analysis or any other information pertaining to global anti-Shiism, visit our website or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Google Plus at Shia Rights Watch. Thank you.